Uh, no, he, he left for the office. Good. Because I kind of wanted to talk to you alone. probably forced you to do it, so I, we don't have well, you to. You don't mind going to the carnival? Do you? Okay. How was this? Good. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, uh, I thought that Christina and I could watch them set up the carnival, if that's all right, you know. Maybe we could, uh, figure out how they rig all those carnival games and beat the system. Great. Uh, who, who was planning on driving you here? Is Milo going to take you? No, no, I saw my license and I got my car back, so I drove it over here. Well, that's your parents' call. But in my world, she may not get into the car with you. Sorry, but I'm going back to the original plan. So the two of you can spend as much time as you want together, honestly, but you can't do it alone. Sorry. I get it. I need to do whatever it takes to get back on the right track. I know you hate social occasions, and I just can't see you having fun at a carnival. And not to mention that you are recovering from two gunshot wounds. It's just a really good reason for us n not to go. But it is Michael's charity. Okay, where's the check? Then you don't want to go? You wouldn't even be asking me to go if it weren't. For Spinelli and Maxi totally forcing you into it, right? Hey, I'm so glad you're here. Hi. Hi. Um, well, I, 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 uh, I didn't get a chance to tell you thank you for helping to bring Michael and Christina home. Yeah, I, it was mostly Jason. Oh, well, it must have been tough or it would have taken so long, so thanks for not giving up. I am glad that they are home safe. That's all that really matters. Wow, gosh. It's it's getting so late, and I have I have work to do, so gotta go. I want you to be happy. You know, I want that more than anything. I always have. I also want you completely to myself. Carly, take deep breaths right Even now. though I know that's not fair, okay? I know that that is not fair. Especially with me being incredibly happy with Jax. I mean, it's, it's only fair that you should be incredibly happy with... Oh. Okay. Calm down. Okay, you know what? You guys are compatible. You're compatible, and, and, and Sam knows exactly what she's getting into. She can go on crazy adventures with you now, and, and I can. I mean, my life has taken a, a completely different turn, and I'm in a not, whole not, different place right now. Sense right now. Are you going to deny it? Am I wrong? What? We were just talking. We were oh my God! Are you yes, going to sit there and deny? You are sleeping with Sam. Drink this. Here, drink this. Stay focused. Be calm, please. You're not answering the question, which means I'm right. Okay. You and Sam are sleeping together. Probably, you know what? We're not even going to have this conversation. Okay. I can handle this, because I, I, I don't want to violate your privacy, and I don't want to meddle in your personal life. <laughs> Since when? Come on. I know what I'm talking about, and I'm right. But you know what? I, I'm i going to try and be a friend to you at all the times you've helped me. I can help you with this. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. You do. You and Sam haven't told anyone that you guys are sleeping together, right? I mean, you're not talking about it at all, not even to each other. <laughs> when we're talking about it, of course, you guys aren't talking about it to I, each I'm other. I'm <laughs> not going to talk about anything with you right now at all. Oh, come on. You and Sam have been burned so badly. You're trying to act like this isn't happening. But something big is happening. 
If I didn't walk through that door, you guys were this close to ripping each other's clothes off. I was barely even looking at her. Exactly. Jason, you are getting ready to go into a really weird phase. You guys are going to be all over each other without even realizing it. You're going to be creating excuses to see each other. And here, here comes the most important part. When you make plans, Sam's going to pull back. She, she's going to say you're under no obligation. That's only because she doesn't want to crowd you. She's going to give you what she thinks you want. And if you're not careful, you two are going to be further apart than ever. Michael came over. Michael drove over. And he wanted to take uh, Christina to the carnival. So I had to be a big, bad meanie. I said no, that they have to spend time supervised, not alone, and that she cannot get into his car ever. But that $50,000 sports car, by the way, that he's already gotten back after he drove across several state lines and drove so recklessly that he thought that he drove Claudia off the road. I thought it was odd. Doesn't he have any consequences for what he did? Well, that's an interesting question. I mean, I've been wondering what kind of consequences Christine will be facing since she's the one who drove Claudia off the road. Hey. Hey, hi. Why did you want to meet here? Shouldn't you be resting in bed or something? No, no. The carnival is raising money for Michael's foundation. Plus, I want to find some alternate routes to the food tent so I can ditch Jack Slater and get a corn dog. Oh, are you sure that's healthy? It's a corn dog, Lulu. I've eaten enough carrot sticks and celery to be able to have five corn dogs. Okay, I'm sorry. So then, would this be a good time to talk about a guy who's driving me insane? Oh, yes, yes. Tell me everything. All right. So I met this guy at Jake's. Actually, no. Um, this guy was hitting on me at Jake's until Lucky and Ethan started beating him up. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought Lucky and Ethan hated each other. Yeah, well, they do, except when they're being Neanderthals. Hi. Um, hey. And so he, he wasn't even trying to avoid the fight, right? He just kept mouthing off until Nicholas had to come in and stop it. Well, what happened? Who did the guy leave with? Dr. Henry. Well, me. <laughs> well, <laughs> then he won. No, he... <laughs> I, I brought him here, and, and, and I dumped him, and I ditched him. Okay, so... So he's he's still hitting on me. He's not taking no for an answer. Oh, is he a stalker? Is he weird? No, God, it's it's not like that. It's just he's 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 like really complicated, you know. He's very cocky, and I mean he's charming. He makes things fun, like being at the hospital and getting the crap beaten out of him. But he's so crazy about himself. He thinks that everybody else should be crazy about him. Too. Right? <laughs> Sounds like you are. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Fine, yeah, he's cute, and yes, he makes me laugh, but there's no way that I'm going out with Dominic. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so you're officially, officially off the hooks. Penelope brought in a new client today. I have to work, and you do not have to take me to the carnival. Are you sure no, you want no, no, to no. Listen, this case gives us both the perfect out, so you are under no obligation at all. The new case an emergency? Sort of. Yeah, I mean, sure, Ed, the agency does need business. I have to work. I just wanted to come and let you know that you are officially off the hook. But I'd, I'd like to go. Then go. Fun. No. No, I want to go with you. I, I mean, I understand that you have to work. I knew what poor Charles was going to be at that carnival. I mean, who can blame them? They're going to have a Ferris wheel. Children laughing. I hate to miss it. Besides, what's a carnival without a little suspense? Without a little mystery? Everybody's going to be having so much fun. I think I'll send over a little surprise of my own. <laughs>